We trying to get paid. Making money, making money, making dollar dollar. We trying to get paid. Making money, making money, making money. Save and invest. Stacking up checks. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Sal here, and I'm black at you again with another video, man. Look, guys, I mean, today is all about redemption. It's all about being able to laugh in the face of all of you guys who really thought you had something going with Humble. Humble, the app came out, it was a complete disaster. Some of the buttons don't work. Uh, many of the stores found in the app aren't actually even accepting the uh, service. I mean, it's just a joke. And ever since I published my initial video at $6.05 or whatever it was, $6.50 or what, I mean, whatever it was, it's been a total disaster since then. And there were very clear signals that any investor could easily see why this would not be a successful company. From the association of George Sharp, who has been a complete disaster on every project he has been a part of, to the fact that the company had no IP, which lets you know that it was uh, a white label product, right? It was a product that they had simply bought out of the box and used graphic designers from India, Bangladesh, or whatever the hell they got them from to uh, create an image that this was somehow, I suspect, a ground up, uh, real thorough company that could compete with PayPal. And sure, my initial presentation, I got some of the numbers wrong, but my thesis was correct. The individuals involved were being paid possibly in shares, I suspect, were being paid in shares, and they were quickly going into the market with those shares, right? They, they were not sitting by and really investing their effort and time and, into seeing this become truly a great company. I don't think from management on down that anybody actually truly believes in this company. As much as you know, you want to, as a as, as someone who's invested in Humble, wants to believe that. I don't think they believe in it themselves. I don't think they believe in it themselves. And you know, we don't have to wait for a filing to see with what management sold and and what they've kept, folks. These people distribute shares through family, through friends. There are other ways that individuals. Uh, I suspect are a part of the company can liquidate shares in a company. The stock is going down because individuals who I suspect are involved in the company are selling shares. That's the bottom line here. And you got ripped off. But I want to quickly just look at the chart and just, you know, show you putting my pivots back on clearly signs that were so easy to spot and one of them was the fact that you know there just weren't any buyers here there was no strength in the move after the reverse split uh, as you can see here where that was our kind of top at 664 i released a video uh that weekend and folks as you can look at the rsi we never got back above 60 right this is the daily chart we never they weren't buyers here because they were being overwhelmed the company didn't do a good job of promoting itself online. The promoters that it had hired were weak. The YouTubers who had st you know, really staked their whole channels on promoting Humble. Some of them have vanished into thin air, by the way. Uh, many of them had very little to, to no subscribers. Uh, many of them, uh, although they wouldn't admit, I suspect, were being paid by either individuals involved in the company or possibly other individuals who had shares in the company, maybe uh, retail investors. I don't know, right? I only suspect that. At the end of the day, the stock is now below the money line. And, uh, you know, if you know anything about penny stocks, this is where you buy penny stocks, right? So if you guys want to go long humble now, it's still a risk because I still think it's a it's overvalued even at its current price. Obviously, it was a much better short at a 
five billion dollar valuation than it is now at what 1.6 or 1.8 or whatever it is now right obviously if you put in some of the debt financing is actually uh even grossly uh more overvalued but you know i digress at the end of the day if you want to buy penny stocks you buy them below the 200 moving average on the daily chart on the daily chart so if you're looking to go along now you know this is probably the part where you take a bite but again for the individuals who really thought this was going places i just don't understand why you couldn't see the clear signals why you couldn't see the clear signals and for those of you guys who are you know for the first time getting into penny stocks let me tell you you can make a lot of money doing this right those of you guys who were in humble uh, below a penny you've made fortunes on this look there they are humble millionaires even with the 75 percent or so pullback from those highs right well, actually well over above 75 percent but you know they're still guys who are up you know a couple m's in this real deal here okay uh so you can make a lot of money pointing these out uh at the right prices but you gotta get them dirt cheap not at the prices they're at now and unfortunately we've got so many bag holders in humble i don't think uh you could ever recover because any bounce and they're going to be you know selling down your throat uh and that's and that's sad but again uh closing just almost below the money line but uh you know for those of you guys in the future you know you can make money buying beneath the 200 moving average but more importantly you can also make money shorting these otc stocks that just don't have what it takes to be successful and one of my old plays p uh ptotf is an example of that you know when these you know otcs crack beneath the money line my 200 moving average you know, they they very you know especially if they don't have what it takes they don't stay above that line very well and more importantly that they don't find strength in the rsi to stay above 60 to really continue to go higher and find those higher prices and humble was just another stock that just couldn't make it happen just couldn't make it happen they were more sellers than buyers from the beginning the you know it just hurts my heart, man, because I know a lot of people lost money in this. But at the end of the day, all the stuff you saw on Twitter, all the, the, the tweets about, hey, I'm reloading here. Hey, 250, 260, I'm buying more. I, I'm loading up on the dips. They were all lies. They were all lies. And I want to take you to Twitter right now. And I want to show you guys, you know, there there's still people... Who believe in this thing you know there's still people who uh you know want to spread the word to add here you know i'm up 40k on humble and still holding he's full of shit he's possibly full of shit you know george sharp beg i mean they're begging george sharp now you know this guy was a key to the reason why I got involved in this. This guy, everything he's behind has tanked. Why wouldn't I short that? He's the best short signal. Someone who wants to be the next, you know, Alex Left can look to to say, man, I, I, this is probably going to be a great signal for me to jump in here. You know, I'm not going to waste any more time here. I think this video has been long enough, but guys, I, man, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Again, shout out to everybody who followed me into this. I know it wasn't many of you because many of you just enjoy the content. You don't actually take the trades that I, I propose to you. And that's, you know, your fault. I don't, you know, maybe you're making money another way. I'm just doing my best to share my journey with you uh, because my goal is to become a multimillionaire and I'm going to take the best trades that I can take to position myself to put me there. And this is one of those trades that I'm gonna look back on a year, two years, five years from now and say, man, that was a great trade. That was a great trade. Uh, you know, again, my deepest uh, condolences to the accounts of 
those traders who just really believe that there was something here. But the fact of the matter is, there's nothing here at all. And uh, if you continue to hold on to your shares, you're going to learn a very, very painful lesson of what it feels like for you to hold a stock till zero. And uh, if you want to learn how that feels, go out and find those people who held on to, uh, you know, MGTI and, you know, some of those other plays that, uh, you know, just just are gone. It's your boy Sal. Until next time. Take care. Black Box Stocks is an automated trading system that delivers real-time market alerts using a proprietary algorithm. Our system is composed of high-speed servers monitoring over 13,000 NASDAQ, NYSE, Amex, and OTC stocks at the same time, analyzing each tick multiple times per second. This award-winning system levels the playing field by offering you technology that has too often been reserved for large financial firms, hedge funds, and the Wall Street elite. And when it comes to the results, let's just say that they are really, really good. Don't wait any longer. Visit blackboxtrader.org to start generating big gains right now.